In this video, I'm going to share with you some of the common mistakes that beagle owners make when it comes to walking their beagle and what mistakes you should avoid, how to improve the walk and how to enjoy the walk with your beagle. All that and more in this video. Hello dog lover, my name is Saro, I'm a dog trainer, also coach dog owners. And in this video, I want to share with you some tips to improve your beagle walk so you can enjoy your walks with your beagle. Many beagle owners have hard time walking their beagles, but don't worry, I'm going to share some tips that are going to improve the walk. So one of the biggest mistakes that beagle owners make is they don't allow their beagle to sniff around. You have to remember, you have a different breed of dog. Your beagle has been designed and bred for certain purpose. They are scent breed, scent dog. They're supposed to be sniffing a lot. That's part of their lifestyle. So you have to accept that and you have to work around that. By understanding that, you have to allow your beagle to sniff as much as it wants. Unlike some other breeds that you can just maybe go for a decent walk or a run or a jog, beagles are not one of those breeds. Beagles, they love to sniff. They love to smell things and go for a decent walk that allows them to sniff around to just smell the roses. So you have to understand that and you have to accept that and you have to work around that. So one of the other common mistakes that beagle owners make is they start using tools and gadgets to stop the beagle from sniffing or pulling the leash because it wants to sniff and they harm their dog and that is not good. That is not healthy. That's not gonna improve the walk. By using tools and gadgets, you're not allowing your beagle to fulfill its needs and also you're limiting yourself with tools and gadgets that they don't work and they actually do more harm than improving the walk. I'm sure you are one of those that you're using tools and gadgets yet your beagle is pulling you like crazy. The other mistake that beagle owners make is that they don't focus on the walk. They are distracted in their mind with some other thoughts or busy with their phones, busy with their everything else other than the walk. So you need to focus on the walk with your beagle, not everything else. So that has to be improved as well. So those are some of the common mistakes that beagle owners make. So let's improve it. Let's improve the walk. So let's get started first and foremost with the tools that you're going to use. You're going to use a regular leash. You're going to use a harness or a collar. Those are the only tools that you're going to use for the walk. Now, before you go for a walk every day, if possible, or for the next few weeks, maybe, just start practicing this exercise before going for a walk, which is play with your beagle a little bit mentally or physically stimulated to bring that energy level down and then take it for the walk. That will reduce that energy and hypeness. It will lower it uh, to the point that you can almost control your beagle. Next is make sure that you're walking your beagle at least two to three times a day each one at least half an hour uh, instead of taking your beagle for uh, let's say an hour an hour and a half two hours two and a half hours three hours of walk at once make sure that you divide the walk in two or three sessions per day short sessions but often you can do two or three times a day not more than 90 minutes a day that's a lot for any dog. You don't want to over exercise your beagle also. So make sure that you can plan that in your daily life. So you're walking it 30 minutes, two or three times a day. Now the other tip that I have, if it's the walk around the block in the city, then you have to improve the walk. What I mean by that is you have to teach your beagle to walk properly without pulling on the leash. And there is a way to do that. I'm going to link a video in the description area that you can go and watch how to improve the leash walk without your beagle pulling on the leash. So watch that. Now the better idea is to take your beagle somewhere that it can sniff the nature. That's what they're bred for. So when you go to a places like that, you know, parks, areas that are in park setting, more natural setting, 
then you will have a better time with your beagle. So what you're going to do in that case is you're going to attach a long leash to your beagle and you're going to allow your beagle to just do whatever it wants on a long leash. The good thing about having a, your beagle on long leash is that you can control it. You can, if it gets into trouble, you can grab it and bring it back. You can control and manage it, but you're giving that freedom to your beagle to sniff and explore exactly the way it needs to. And it's in a safe environment, it's in a safe form. Most beagles are friendly dogs and they want to meet other dogs and greet them. And if you tighten the leash, the regular leash, and stop them from meeting other dogs or saying hi to other dogs, that's when that stress and anxiety and aggression develops. That's when that those behaviors start getting worse and worse. So to avoid all those, just put a long leash on your beagle and take it for a walk and let your beagle greet other dogs the way it is meant to, the way it has to be met, the way they should be connecting to each other and communicating to each other naturally without being stressed and pulled on the leash. That will reduce all that drama when it comes to beagles and other dogs, as well as people, as well as the nature itself. So use a long leash. My next step is make sure that you're in the moment as well. Put away your phone, put away your coffee, be in the moment, be in the nature with your beagle, enjoy the walk, be present, enjoy the nature, enjoy your beagle sniffing around, have fun with it, have, have a good time allowing your beagle to just be a beagle. Every half an hour that you're taking your beagle for a walk is a moment for you to skate. Have a 30 minutes of off time. So as you're giving your beagle an off time, give yourself an off time as well. So you're focused on your beagle, you're focused on the nature, you're focused on the walk, you're focused to be in the moment. Now, to even more or further improve the walks, I suggest you to think about offering your beagle and focusing on providing different forms of walks for your beagle. So one of them is, for example, training walks. Training walks are actually the walks that you're training your beagle to walk properly. In these walks, you're not, you don't have much expectations all you're doing is teaching your beagle how to walk. Now, if you want to learn how to improve the walk using training walks, don't worry, I'm going to explain at the end of the video. Now, the other form of walk is power walks. Power walks are usually at the end, after your beagle has had maybe some training walks, maybe some loose leash walk and had time to do its business and everything is done. The last 10 minutes you can do a power walk with your beagle so you and your beagle can benefit from this walk. Now my favorite is loose leash walk. Loose leash walk is where your beagle is on, is on a loose leash and it's free to do whatever it wants. You can sniff a spot for 5-10 minutes, you can walk wherever it wants. You're just controlling and allowing your beagle to walk on a loose leash. There's no tension on the leash and your beagle is just free to do whatever it wants. You don't have any expectation, you're just allowing your beagle to be a beagle. Now, the other form of favorite of walks for me is off-leash walk and many beagle owners have a hard time off-leashing their beagles. But if you train your beagle, if you work on your beagle, if you do the steps that I just explained, you will be able to enjoy your beagle off-leash as well. All it takes is spending time and effort and training and practicing with your beagle to the point that your beagle is off-leash trained and you can trust and enjoy the walks off-leash with your beagle. But that is at the end, after you've done a lot of training and work with your beagle, maybe for a year or a year and a half or even two years, and then you can off-leash your beagle. Now, if you want to learn more how to improve your dog's walk, I have created a playlist that you can go ahead and watch those videos and learn how to improve your beagle's walk, how to properly walk on a leash. And if you have any questions, leave those questions in the comments area. And until next time, have fun with your beagle.